Taking a page from Dr. King's strategy of civil disobedience, activists from Black Lives Matter. They staged a die-in at today's march. Our own Cuthbert Langley spoke with one of the local activists, and she tells us the group's message is about more than police violence. It's obvious Nashville is growing. Cranes dot the sky, rusty train cars wait to take their next load, and smoke billows out of the rooftops of many buildings. But something else came billowing out today, frustration. We did this Poor People's March to rec reclaim MLK's legacy. Tanisha Gilliard is a member of Black Lives Matter, a group that wants to make it known that Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy goes far beyond his famed I Have a Dream speech. We had a die-in where we um, kind of shared the reason why we were there, um, like for the people who are homeless, for the people who don't have access to food, who are in poor education systems, things like that. So members of the group lay in the street, hoping those marching, including King's eldest son, realized this growing city still has problems. We are disenfranchised people. Um, we are sat upon by a lot of, um, I'll call them racist, oppressive systems. Systems, they say, that ignore the city's most vulnerable communities. People left and right of where they're marching feel this oppression every single day. In fact, in a statement, the group says the march commemorates a, quote, sanitized, whitewashed version of Dr. King that does nothing more than uphold the status quo. But while it seemed the organizers interrupted the parade, they say education, not division, was their goal. We weren't there in, like, direct opposition of what they were doing. It's more so both an educational tool for themselves and for ourselves and our, our people. People who call this growing city home. Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5. Today's event was one of a dozen that took place nationwide. Martin Luther King III says he supports the causes the group supports, saying that, quote, those very issues are very real for the African-American community.